Hello, my name is Yonis Dizzle, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple mistakes uh, new developers, database developers, are actually making. And hopefully, uh, this tutorial will enable you to bypass these issues. So, to get started, I'm just going to open one of my tables. So, I've got a table here called Assessor, and I'm just going to go here on the table section and then click on Relationships. So as you can see here, I've got relationships based on one-to-many relationships and referrals and integrity cascade update cascade delete has been applied to every single one of them. Okay, so one of the mistakes people do is adding their ID as the middle field or a field at the end. Um, that's a very bad practice. So let's close that. So always but always go to design design view and make sure your primary key is set up as your first field. So if you've made a mistake like this, just highlight the row and then click and drag it and place it to the very uh, top of your table. I'm just going to apply the same fix to all the other issues, all the other tables to make sure that we have consistency. Consistency when we're dealing with relational database is a key thing. Okay. Now, the next mistake people make when they're creating de relational database for uh, the first time is uh, adding, try to add data into a primary table by calling, uh, sorry, uh, try to add in data into a foreign table uh, by actually calling data that does not exist. For example, if I go to the assessors, let's close everything. Let's make sure we save everything. Yeah. All right. So if I go to the assessors table, I've got some data here. And if I go to the course details, I do not have any data. So if I want to add course schedule here, when I do not have a course, I'm going to have an issue. Also, if I go to the assessors table, my assessor ID begins with ID number five. So I do not have assessor ID one, two, three, or four. So if I go here now to the um, to the course schedule, and I'm just going to create a course schedule here. And I'm just going to put here the date and the duration and the cost. Oops. And the cost and some notes. Now, if I click away, it tells me that related records do not exist so i do not have any these are my foreign keys i do not have the id zero to any of these tables that's okay i can leave this blank and this will allow me to move on to add a new record that's that's okay because blank data is is okay all right so the referential integrity cascade update cascade delete will not basically uh, triggered so what I need to do now, if I put here assessor number one, now I know that my first assessor here is number five. So if I put here assessor number one and click away, I receive this warning. It tells me that on the TBL assessor, I cannot find, I cannot locate the assessor ID number one. Because I cannot locate the assessor ID number one, I cannot allow you to add records. Why? Because on the referral so integrity cascade update cascade delete you actually ask me not to allow anyone to add data that does not exist why because you have enforced referral so integrity cascade update and cascade delete so i cannot let you basically continue this is what the database is telling us so if i put here number id number five id number five exists and that's okay because id number five exists it allows me to add the data. So this is one of the most common mistakes people make when creating uh, the database for or relational database for the first time. You cannot have data information on the foreign table when the primary table does not contain information. This is a very simple rule that you need to always remember. Hope you learned something new today. I hope you will be able to actually apply these skills onto your database project. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.